Hey, it is the Emergency Medicine channel. Today's topic is about bag mask ventilation. So, first of all, I will be giving you the outline of this class. So, in this class, we will be discussing regarding the definition of bag mask ventilation, uh, then followed by the indications of bag mask ventilation, then um, what are all the components or parts of bag mask ventilation, then what are all the predictors of difficult bag mask ventilation, then how to perform the procedure of bag mask ventilation, then what are all the uh, complications of bag mask ventilation then contra indications then followed by the difficult bag mask ventilation pneumonia these are all the things we will be going to uh, dis uh, discuss in this topic so before going into that topic we have to check the functionality of this ambu bag or bag mask ventilation so we will be considering this bag mask ventilation why we will be calling this instrument as bag mask ventilation means so it will be having a mask uh, followed by valves and this bag that is self inflating bag so it will be calling as bag mask ventilation or bag wall mask device or it, it might be called as ambu bag that means ambulatory manual breathing unit so how to check the functionality is very very important before doing this procedure so uh, the thing is first uh, we have to we have to squeeze this bag it is self inflating bag so once if you squeeze then if you release if it comes to normal position then we can say that all the walls which are present in this ambu bag are working properly then the second thing is so we can occlude uh, this outlet this this is the outlet in uh, we will be separately discussing uh, in the further time so this is the outlet in if we have to occlude this outlet in then we have to squeeze this bag if if we do like this then this 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 valve is pressure releasing valve so it has to open or uh, we, we can feel some resistance so that means it is working now i will see you so the thing is uh, i have occluded this outlet end then i am squeezing so this pressure releasing valve it is opening so and uh, i am feeling some resistance with it so we can conclude that this ambu bag is, is in good working condition. So checking the functionality of ambu bag is very very important. Then we can do the procedure. Then we will see the definition of this bag mask ventilation. So the bag mask ventilation or this bag wall mask device, it's a, it's a device. We will be use, using this device in order to deliver positive pressure ventilation to the patients who are not breathing adequately or the patients who are not breathing at all. So in those conditions we will be delivering or using this ambu bag ventilation to the patients. So this ambu bag it, it, can, it can be called in so many terms. So this might be called as this is self inflating bag or bag mask ventilation or ambu bag. Ambu bag means ambulatory manual breathing unit or manual resuscitator self plating bag these are all the other names of this bag mask ventilation so this is the definition then we will see the indications of bag mask ventilation so first indication is the patients who are in apnea cardiac arrest and respiratory failure that means failure of either oxygenation or ventilation then these are all the some of the indications in pediatric case group if the heart rate is less than 100 then we will be ventilating the patients and and along with these indications some other indications like uh, failed intubation after failed intubation we will be considering this bag mask ventilation as a pre oxygenation before doing intubation we will be performing this procedure so mainly in the pre oxygenation uh, so in order to uh, uh, for denitrogenation we will be using this bag mask ventilation and, uh, and in order to provide uh, that is uh, oxygenation to the patient we will be using this uh, bag mask ventilation these are all the some of the indications of bag mask ventilation then we will see the components of this ambu bag or bag mask wall ventilation so this is the outlet that means this will be connected to the patient this will be inlet so this will be outlet this will be inlet so first we will come from here to there so this ambu bag it will be having uh, one reservoir bag so uh, this is oxygen connector for connecting oxygen and all then 
here inside here one oxygen uh, uh, inlet valve will be there then this is self inflating bag or manual resuscitator that is self inflating bag followed by here two valves will come so this one is apl valve or pressure releasing valve then here inside it will be having one valve that is called as fish mouth valve it will be a, uh, it will be looking like a fish mouth so it will be calling as fish mouth valve then uh, we will be ventilating with this face mask this is face mask we will be keeping on the patients then we can ventilate the patient so if you are ventilating uh, with this face mask and all so if you squeeze once if you squeeze the back this this fish mouth valve will open and it delivers the air or oxygen and it will be delivering to the patient once if you return it will squeeze and this inhaled that is exhaled gases of the patient it won't come inside and it will be eliminated through here some ports will be there through these ports the air exhaled air or carbon dioxide will be eliminated from this side so these are all the components of ambu bag then we will see the volume of this bag so this is mainly we will be using this ambu bag for adult patients the the volume is up to uh, 1200 to 1600 ml so for pediatric age group we will be using up to 500 to 700 ml of ambu bag then neonatal age group we will be using up to 250 ml of ambu bag these are all the various volumes according to the age group so while doing this bag mask ventilation so with 15 liters of oxygen uh, with 15 liters of oxygen with this reservoir bag and face mask with adequate seal we can deliver up to 100 percentage of fio2 with this bag mask ventilation that is one of the main advantage of using this bag mask ventilation so in order to give this fresh amount of oxygen uh, that is a pure fio2 so we will be using this a uh, reservoir bag also so if we keep 15 liters of oxygen from the oxygen flow meter and with this reservoir bag we can deliver up to 100 percentage of pure oxygen this is one of the advantages of this bag mask ventilation these are all the components or parts of this ambu bag then we will see the predictors of uh, difficult bag mask ventilation uh, if you see one patient then we can predict this patient might be having a difficult bag mask ventilation some of the predictors include uh, upper airway obstruction history of snoring then edentless patient obese patients the patients who will be having short neck and the patients who will be having facial injuries and the patients who will be having beard or mustache so these are all the some of the uh, predictors of a uh, difficult bag mask ventilation then we will see the procedure of bag mask ventilation then we will see the procedure of this bag mask ventilation so for this uh, procedure of bag mask ventilation we have to assess the airway of the patient so first thing what we have to see is if the patient is talking uh, in a normal voice then uh, with in a normal voice then we can say uh, the patient will not be having any immediate airway compromise then we have to check for the airway sounds any strider uh, gurgling the sounds uh, history of snoring any snoring these are all the things we have to consider then if you find this patient needs bag mask ventilation the patient is hypoxemic and all then we have to open the airway so the opening of the airway is by using airway maneuvers there are three airway maneuvers that is one is head tilt chin lift and jaw thrust these are all the three airway maneuvers so head tilt means we have to uh, do like this head tilt chin lift uh, if you do head tilt then chin lift automatically will come then jaw ja thrust so this is uh, we have to lift the jaw with our uh, this uh, three fingers so these are all the three steps we need to be performed before uh, using this bag mask ventilation so in the case of any suspected basal skull fractures or uh, patients who will be having head injuries then we have to perform only jaw thrust maneuver this head tilt and chin lift are contraindicated in that patients so first we have to uh, open the airway by airway maneuvers then we have to clear the airway that means any obstructions any secretion anything is there we have to uh, clear the airway by using suction and uh, by keeping left lateral position and all then we have to maintain the airway that means we can give oxygen mask in that uh, we have to maintain this airway by giving oxygen mask or bag mask ventilation and all at that moment we can use uh, airway adjuncts like oropharyngeal airway and nasopharyngeal airway then uh, maintaining and protection of airway if the patient needs any um, endotracheal intubation and all then uh, we can 
we can insert this endotracheal tube into the vocal cords then we have to inflate the cuff and then we can um, fix this thing with adhesive plasters and all so now you'll see the uh, now let's see the procedure of this bag mask ventilation so first we have to open this uh, the airway by doing the airway manuals then we have to keep this face mask so while selecting this face mask this face mask has to be uh, appropriately selected that means uh, for adult patients and all so we have to select appropriate size mask then how to do bag mask ventilation is so first thing uh, this is one hand ventilation now i will be showing uh, then two hand ventilation two types of bag mask ventilation are there so first in one hand ventilation so these two fingers that means this thumb and first fingers they form c, c type shape like this and these three fingers we will be using these three fingers to lift the jaw then we have to ventilate the patient this is one hand ventilation now i will show you now we have opened the airway these two fingers i will form a c, uh, c shaped uh, curve then these three fingers mainly this little finger is used to lift the jaw then we have to ventilate the patient we have to ventilate the patient this is one hand ventilation so how to check whether we are delivering adequate breaths or not that will be um, determined by the adequate chest rise so if you give uh, adequate tidal volume of 6 to 8 ml per kg body weight we can see adequate chest rise that chest rise is the uh, correct indicator for adequate bag mask ventilation this is about one hand ventilation now we will see the two hand ventilation or 2e 2c technique now i will be uh, holding this mask uh, she will be delivering um, breaths so this in this in this ventilation these two sides uh, with this two finger two hands we will be doing like this that means it will forms two c and these three fingers remaining these fingers are used to lift the jaw now we will be ventilating this patient this is two hand ventilation see the complications of this bag mask ventilation so hypoventilation is one of the most common uh, complication hypoventilation hyperventilation uh, increased intragastric pressure then aspiration parotrauma value trauma these are all the some of the complications of this bag mask ventilation then we will see the contraindications of this bag mask ventilation so the bag mask ventilation is contraindicated in the patients who are at risk of aspiration that means the patients uh, 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 that is a uh, pregnancy patients hiatus hernia diaphragmatic hernia then intestinal obstruction then full stomach patient that means the nilpar oral status of the patients are non, not known then we will see the difficult back mask ventilation pneumonia that means if we if we have any difficulties with back mask ventilation then we will see one pneumonic that pneumonic is called as mons m o a n s this is that difficult bag mask ventilation pneumonic so m stands for male or uh, mask seal that means if mask seal is inadequate or it is not good then we can um, we can predict uh, that is that might be the cause for this uh, difficult bag mask ventilation then o stands for obstruction or obesity so the patients who will be having obstruction or obesity then it it is one of the uh, difficult it leads one of difficult bag mask ventilation then age greater than 55 years then uh, no teeth n stands for no teeth then stiffness are patients who are snoring in these are all the conditions we will be uh, having difficulty in bag mask ventilation this is regarding the uh, bag mask ventilation pneumonia okay thank you